And this is like Bitcoin put on a business a suit, got an MBA, went to business school, decided to become respectable, right? It's a cryptocurrency, but it's backed by the world, one of the world's biggest banks. It's going to be a walled garden. Not the, pub the public can't use it. Only people who are institutional clients who've been vetted for KYC, anti-money laundering, can use it. KYC, so, know your customer. Know your customer. And you know, most importantly, it's, it's for people to send institutional payments, cross-border payments, things like if debt issuance, if IPOs move to the blockchain, this is a way for a payment rail to, to happen. Is this just with JP Morgan, though? Meaning, can yeah. other banks use it? Other banks can use it. Now, importantly, JP Morgan is the biggest bank to banks in the world. So if you're, you know, if you want to, you know, uh, sort of custody bank, you know, transfer bank, you want to use JP Morgan, you're on one end, you give them money, dollar to dollar, they'll turn it into a JPM coin. You do the transfer and then they turn it back into money so at the, the other end. So the one and only question I have this morning is if I'm an owner of Bitcoin, uh, Zcash, Ripple, Ethereum, is this validating the world of cryptocurrency and therefore the yeah. value of these other currencies go up? Yeah. Or does this say, you know what? These other, this new currency and currencies like it are going to ultimately become the standard bearers, and they're going to crowd out yeah. and make unnecessary all of the uh, the bitcoins and ethereum's and everything else. Perhaps more likely the latter. This is what happens when you have innovation that get co-opted by sort of the established world demand, essentially, right? They take what's good about it, they 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 transform it for its own needs. And they use it. Except if you told me that this is a walled garden and Bitcoin uh, isn't, right? I mean, sure. You know, right. there may always be a need for almost a universal version of And there of may be. One, one doesn't currency. exclude the other. And well, I think that a lot of people in the Bitcoin and crypto community had always believed that there would be consolidation among the tokens eventually, that there are hundreds of tokens right now, and it will be narrowed down because you don't need so many. And this is sort of a step in that direction where you have an outside player saying, you know what, we're going to stabilize the value of the coin and we're going to use it for transactions. And if you, I mean, if we talk about Jimmy Diamond, his comments, he has cited the use case. If you're right. living in Venezuela, if you do things illicitly over the dark web, you do still want, you know, you know cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and things like that. And on, on this JPM coin itself, does that crowd out or by being a first mover, yeah. does that prevent other banking institutions or financial services companies from creating their own? Is this trying yeah. to become the, yeah. the standard? Does it matter if it's the standard? They do want to be they do want to have first mover status. Other banks can do it. If you're a big if you're city or if you're Goldman Sachs who wants to be big in, in, in you know, in that field. They can create their own. Uh, if a central bank decided to create their own crypto, that would probably be the, the gold standard as opposed to, to this. This has got a shot, but it's still early.